Hey, how's it going? Hitting with the nation here. My name is Cole Campbell. Today we have the new Easton Tantrums. Let's take a look. We have four bats that we're hitting today. We have the 12 inch loaded, the 12.5 inch full ounce in load, which is a mother load. We have the 12.75 inch one piece loaded and the 13 inch balanced. A few people that are gonna hit these bats today. We have Brian who's holding the camera. Thank you, Brian. Uh, he's gonna hit the balance. He's a balanced guy, really likes it. I'm gonna hit the loadeds, and then Miz is gonna hit the mother load. He prefers a heavier end load. Uh, we're basically comparing these to last year's tantrums, and we're gonna see, are they different? Are they the same? And how do they hit? It's about 90 something degrees here in Texas, pretty hot. We're hitting the uh, Worth Platinum Extremes, these are the one piece ball. They kind of fly like a stadium, so they do go far, but they're really good in all weather, so they're not gonna get mushy in the heat. So let's check them out on the tester and see how they're doing, and then we'll get to the review. A 260. And 280. And we have the one piece, 270, 270, 260, 260, the 13 inch balanced, 260. 270. So just to let you know, they changed the colors on these. Um, whereas last year, I think the, the loaded um, half ounce was, the 12 inch was about a navy color, but last year's full ounce was pink and this year is balanced. So they did change some of the decals and uh, the color is a little bit different. And the balance from last year was this cool gray color that they've kind of gotten rid of this year. So uh, make sure that you are looking into what bat it is that you're buying this year. If you're getting a tantrum, don't just go off of the color uh, because they did change them from last year. Okay, so we got Brian here. He's swinging the 13 inch balance. Now this one is a 27 because we like to swing a little heavier on the balance. Would have got a 27 in all of them, but I could only get 26s. So. First swing's got to be a home run. Acclaim is yours. Topped it. Miz swinging the mother load. This one is a 12.5 inch barrel. Got to hit a home run on the first swing here. One hop. All right, I'm swinging the loaded 12 inch barrel. Going for that first swing dinger. Ooh, wind's blowing a little bit to right here. I keep it up in the wind. Just enough. Now we're hitting about 20 feet behind home plate, maybe 25 feet behind where home plate would be. These are normally a 300 foot fence, 305, 295. So over the fence is about 325. The loaded and the mother load both have a flex 190 and that is the hardest handle, stiffest handle that they make. The balanced, is rocking the Flex 160. Grab that one piece real quick. And the one piece, which we've already seen, has a Flex 150, which you think with it being a one piece, it would be stiffer. But again, this is the handle, like tensile strength. It doesn't have anything to do with these connection pieces. Ninety-two. Ninety 
22. He's saying the average is higher than this right now. That was 95. <laughs> 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 One oh six. Not going to get much better than that one. All right. Now, I already kind of did a review video with this one versus the Resmondo. But we're going to throw it in here just to kind of compare, see how it feels, if there's any difference. This bat's better. <laughs> feels better to me. Uh, I could kind of tell on the first swing. Didn't spin that at all. Just got through the first few between this year's and last year's. Um, this has a different sound to it. So I wasn't sure if they really actually done much to change it. Um, paint job looks very similar. It definitely has more of a, a crack to it this year when it was a little bit softer sounding last year, so let me cut a few to the right side. All right, we just happen to have last year's here, so I'm just gonna hit it a few times just to see what the feel and sound difference is between uh, this year's and last year. Obviously, this one does have a few more swings on it than this brand new one does. All right, that's the new balanced tantrum. Um, it's a good balanced bat. I would say, I would almost call it like a, it sounds silly to say, but maybe like an eighth of an ounce in load, maybe up to a quarter. It's just a tad bit heavier than maybe some of your real balanced bats, but if you want something a little bit heavier than a true, true, true balanced, or something just underneath a half ounce, it's a really, really good place to go. Um, I didn't really feel the flex in this one as much, maybe without it having the end. Um, maybe it, it takes a little pressure off that uh, connection piece. Um, but what I was most interested in is how it compared to this one. If you like the way this one felt weight-wise, balance-wise, all that stuff, this one feels the exact same. I bet if we weighed them out, they would be dang near identical. But this one definitely had a crisper feel to it than this one did. You think different, slightly different composite? Uh, I, I, would, I would think it would have to be something different. I don't know if they can just tighten the composite. I don't know if they can, I mean, I know they can change it, but there's something different. This one is definitely crisper than last year's, which I think overall is going to lead to a good thing because I felt this one could get a little soft at times, especially when it gets really hot outside and you're using a softball. I think this crisp one is really going to make a big difference. Um, to me, it sounds a little bit more like the 232. Did I say that right? Yeah. Um, maybe not quite, maybe not quite to that extent, but closer than the tantrum of what, 2022, 20, 2023. So really good bat. Um, if, you, if you're a balanced bat guy, I'd say somewhere between an 8.5 and a 9. It's, I mean, it's solid ev everywhere.
We have the mother load right here. So it's a little tantrum. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Now we're talking. Now, this is the uh, mother love last year. The only difference is colors. And Again, this one's gonna. This one is well broken in. Yeah. You know, that was far. Boy, compared with the other, not this one? like that much farther than. The That's one. what I'm about to say. Like honestly, I feel like there's not much different. I mean, don't get me wrong. This one is wide open, but the way this one was to spawn. It's pretty good. Compared with the uh, old mother low last year and this one, I don't see much different when it comes to sound. I mean, of course, uh, you're gonna have to put some, some work in to make it sound the way you like, but I do like it. When it comes to uh, pop, the, the temperature right now is super hot, so the bag was doing the job. Uh, when it comes to durability, obviously no seam, no webbing, so I give it a nine. Do you think it's more durable than last year's? Uh, Just from the way that it feels in your hand? Or do you think it's exactly the same? I think it's the same, if you ask me. So, but we had to have more swing on it. Right now, yeah. it's just only like, what, 20, 25 like, max could 40 swings? Could you swing? feel the flex, like, a lot? Or could you tell that it was really whippy? No, I didn't. I mean, it's, it's, stiff? it's stiff enough for me. Like I said, we mean, it's 190. Yeah. So, it's very stiff. So I like that. So, I mean, it's really good. Okay, we got the loaded short barrel here. So right away, I mean, if you know the videos, I'm not a guy that likes the connection piece. Right away, I can feel it, and I would suggest, and I've said this in the comparison video, that, um, that it's preference. Connection is always preference, and with the Tantrum Tech, I think people that have like maybe a slower swing speed, something in the 80s, 90s, um, it's going to benefit you on a slower swing speed. So when I just throw it, and I keep it smooth, and I let the bat kind of use the connection and use the softer composite, I get much better results. One more. Oof. All right, now I'm gonna try a couple swings with the one piece, just to kind of show you that I, what the no flex can do. Good gosh. Okay, so my review here on the loaded and the one piece. Um, I struggled finding the sweet spot. It is a 12 inch barrel, so you do have to be really good at hitting the sweet spot. Um, and whenever I did miss the sweet spot, the connection piece kind of um, affected how far the ball went. Um, if you're really good at staying on the sweet spot, and I would say that you don't have the fastest swing speed um, that this is going to be a really really good bat for you um, I could feel when I just kept it smooth and 
hit the sweet spot correctly that the bat did all the work for me and hit really good shots. When I tried to overswing, uh, it was knuckle balls, top hand balls, and the connection piece kind of took some of the power away from it. Now the one piece, I hate to say this, but uh, it, this was way better um, for me. Uh, felt better, felt like I could really push the ball into the barrel and get a lot of trampoline effect out of it. So uh, I'm gonna say it's a 9.5 out of 10 overall. Um, it does feel a little stiffer than last year and in a good way. Um, so I would stick with the one piece. And for the, um, for the two piece loaded, uh, really good composite. So you're gonna have high pop, feels gonna be a little low on me. Um, I'm gonna give it like an 8.75, um, almost to a nine, uh, right, right there between an 8.75 and a nine. So really good bats. Let's put them on the tester and see how they do. 250, 260, 255, 250, 255, 255. All right, so that's it for the new tantrums on the review today. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments, send an email. Um, Hitting Nation is always here to help. Ms. Golly, have a good day.